how would you describe your comedic character and how is it different than from how you view yourself off stage? Ooh. Um, huh. My comedic characters. Like with stand up, it's it's different like on stage with stand up because with stand up, as you know this, Richie, but like when I first started doing stand-up, I didn't even mention Nickelodeon. Like, I didn't want to mention Nickelodeon. Like, I wasn't doing Ed or any of that stuff. I was literally talking about my experiences in life, you know, with being married and, you know, dating and, you know, being celibate. All this crazy stuff that I was talking about. And people were like, what? What is, what is going on? And I wanted to talk about that because, like I said, it's like, it's really these emotions attached to it, these stories. When I was doing these characters, these are characters from, you know, all over the place with sketches and stuff like that. But my story, I felt like, okay, this can be more relatable. This can be funny. You know, this can really hit people. Just like you were saying, uh, Richie, with just like saying words, you know, instead of like when you really have an emotion attached to it and there's a story attached to it, you know, I, I'm a very storyteller comedian because I feel like it's just so much that comes out of that. You know what I mean? And of course, when you're doing that, you know, it's these tags that people throw into it as you're going with your story. You know what I mean? Because then your story could come, oh, I didn't even think about that part, how funny that could be even more. You know what I mean? So uh, I just really enjoyed that part of stand-up. Stand-up gave me a little bit more, even more courage uh, as far as, like, being able to tell my stories. And, and as I was mo doing motivational speaking and I was doing stand-up at the same time, so I do motivations and then I would do stand-up at night, and then it, they intertwined. I don't know how this happened, but it ended up where that they started to intertwine to the point where I was backstage praying with comedians. You know what I mean? And we were talking with comedians about really deep stories because a lot of us go through a lot of deep stuff. You know what I mean? But we know how to make it funny and make you laugh. And, and so within that, that's where you find the joy within the darkness of it all. You know what I mean? So they started to intertwine. And so that's why... Uh, I actually took a break from stand-up for a hot second because I was just like, okay, how can I even make this even even bigger? Like, how can I even do that even bigger? And and now I'm working on something that I think is going to be really, really cool <laughs> where it's like I'm adding both of them together in a real, real major way that I think is going to be be great as far as, like, specials are concerned. <laughs> you know uh, I, mean? I can't wait. I got a quick question. <laughs> I'm going to go back to this, but uh, someone's asking, what was that? the app again, the line running? Oh, oh, line learner. Line, line learner. learner. Okay, that's what I thought it line, was. Line learner. Line oh, line learner. learner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what would be some tips that you have to give comedians to find themselves and find their voice that yeah. you – that I mean, you did it in a very short amount of time, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. was amazing. And, and uh, you said you separated yourself. And I have a clear memory of sitting <laughs> with your wife during a show – <laughs> and you started talking about your celibacy, right? And someone was like, someone literally was like, get the fuck out of here. And you were like, I know, right? And like, I, I, your wife turned, she was like, right? This was what it was like. She, he's telling the truth. Yeah, and it, was, it was so unbelievable, but you really humbled yourself in those yeah. moments and you opened up to what you were talking about. Um, yeah. But sorry to get away from the question. What, what are tips <laughs> for comedians to find themselves in their comedy? Uh, come, come from a real place, man. The real place, that's the real place is funny. You know, the awkwardness of it all too is funny. You know, find that those things that are, you know, to you that are weird that you do can be very funny. You know what I'm saying? If it's something that you do that, that, that's just hilarious and quirky that you don't want anybody to know about, share those things because you'll be surprised that there's some, a few people in the audience that go, yep, <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, I, I do that same thing. And they're going to crack up because the reason they're cracking up is because, oh my gosh, he does that too. Oh my goodness. He thinks that same way about himself, you know? And when you do that, that that's what it's about. You know what I mean? And when I, when I found that, that's what's like, okay, great. Let's, let's, let's get into that. Let's do that. And that's, that's the fun part where you can laugh at yourself. That's the thing about it. You know, you can't really, I mean, well, from, for me, I can't really do stand-up in a way if I can't laugh at myself and the things that are about me in my life that I do that's just weird. I couldn't get up there and be like this fake person. I had to just 
really keep it real. And when, when I did that and I kept it real with the stories and the, and the fun and that, that's when all this, you know, uh, magic, I guess you would say, <laughs> that happened on stage, you know what I mean, would happen. And I remember it. I remember Barb one time. I remember Barb teared up, man. And that, that I'm, I'm, I'm almost about to cry right now, but I remember it was one time where it was like, we were, I, I did a, uh, a weekend and we were sold out like the entire weekend, bro. And I remember like y'all saw me from the beginning and it was just like to have the place just like from wall to wall and cracking up. And she was like, wow. <laughs> like to see I have a picture you know? of us from that weekend that I hosted for you. What? Uh, <laughs> you, me, Alfonso, Tyree. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, I think uh, maybe uh, Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky, yeah, yeah. And Dana Moon might have been there. I don't know, but yeah, man. Oh, bro. Dude, yeah, man. And you know, and our beatbox battles and all that stuff. I was going to say, there's a video of us beatboxing <laughs> together, and then you breaking it down and breakdancing on stage. Man, yeah, just, just, just being free. Like, I started to say, this is my living room. You know what I mean? Like, I really had to say that to myself. This is, this is my living room. This is where I'm at, and I'm just going to have fun. I, I remember one time I was going through, like, something really stressful one time when I, and I had a flapper show, and I was in a stressful situation where I had to go deal with right before the show, and I had to get out of that because it was just like I had to get out of that. And so when I drove up the flappers, I was literally saying, this is, like, my living room, and I'm with a whole bunch of people that dig me, that are just having fun and just want to laugh. And I went in there and I just had a blast, man. And then, you know, having that support team, uh, you know, as a stand-up, you know, thank God that I had that a support team that, you know, really were, like, rooting for me, you know, uh, that really helped as well. So, you know, try to get that, you know, a support team, you know, a group of comedians and that you can hang out with. Doing stuff like this is definitely awesome, you know, and, and telling those stories, you know what I mean? And, and, but don't feel like you have to be pushing to certain things because, there were some comedians that were like, hey, man, if you do this, I tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was, like, it was some guys, like, if you got a weird feeling, you'd be like, oh, no, no, no I don't want to do that type of stuff in my comedy. But, <laughs> you know I mean? but, you know, but de definitely get a good support team. <laughs> uh, to wrap it up, first of all, thank you very much. Is there anything that you, you wanted to add that I, I didn't ask? Stuff that you feel is, you know, important yeah. for people to know? Oh man, I man, I don't know. I feel like we covered we covered a lot, bro. We, <laughs> we covered a lot. You know what I mean? Uh just, you know, try to keep that joy, man. Dance in the storm, you know, dance in the rain. Dance in the rain, you know what I mean? You know how they say tears of a clown. You, you know what I mean? Like when you when we're doing this thing, uh laughter is medicine. You know what I mean? Laughter is definitely medicine. And when you're laughing, you have joy in your heart and really take that within your life you know what i mean kind of like there's so many comedians that they do it on stage and they make people crack up but when they're off stage mentally they're in like this hell you know what i'm saying so it's like that same joy bring that joy into your life too like you know within everything that you do so then that way you can have a, a clear mind and stay in that happy place you know what i mean all the time you know what i mean so that way you could just be creative and there's no no obstacles you know what i mean breakthrough breakthrough baby that's what it's about that's the yeah. word i want y'all to leave with is breakthrough <laughs> you know what i mean yeah 